Well, I mean, uh, you know, 12 points, we, you know, in the, the fourth quarter for sure didn't help. But this, we had the three straight turnovers, then the third, um, you know, the, uh, the, the rebounds on the free throw, you know, just all those, those things are just critical. We needed that cushion, um, especially when we weren't making shots or getting any, any looks at the other end of the floor. So I think it was uh, Carl has four shots in, in the game. What mm-hmm. did, what do you see that happened with him? And yeah, I mean, like, you know, they're, they're just, they swarm them everywhere. Three in the, you know, three in the post and at the, you know, at the, at the top of the key, they're just, they're in on them. Um, you know, we got to find, we got to find them in the flow and that's just how it's going to have to be. I mean, when we went to them, they doubled and we got good looks. We didn't knock them down. So. Uh, how did you kind of try to use your timeouts in, in the middle of that run? It seemed like, I think it got to maybe 21 Oh, before, mm-hmm. uh, before any, well, I was, you know, it burned a lot early. So I was hoping that uh, we would just be able to kind of get through to the fourth, um, a little bit deeper beforehand. So how do you think your guys can recover from, I mean, we're, I mean, we're going to recover fine. We played really well in spurts. You know, we got good looks. We, you know, probably, uh, you know, needed to make them under game pressure. Just didn't. Um, you know, we had done a great job containing the drive with Morant pretty much all game that at the end, you know, we, we didn't, we get, he got to the free throw line. That's the other thing. A lot of silly fouls, let him back in fouled, fouled 94 feet. We fouled a lot just, um, on those drives. So. The, the swings of emotion in the game, did you, did you feel the team tensing up at all? Just, just in the, in the moment or, or how did. How did you sense that they that they responded just mm-hmm. from the swings of emotion in the game? Um, no, I didn't feel, you know, I mean, I'm sure they did tense up, you know, the, we missed a lot of really good shots. Some of them looked tight, but I didn't necessarily feel it. I thought we were, you know, thought we were still in, uh, you know, in the game. So everything was there to win. They had all the, you know, the momentum late, but I thought we could make enough cup, enough plays to, you know, tighten the thing back up. We get a break. They miss the free throws and then we get a foul on the box out. So, with, they had a couple of those instances with the free throw uh, rebounds uh, in the second half. Well, what has to be better? Just just plain old boxing out, or what has to? Yeah, I mean, we, we got to you know, we got to we got to be more physical. We got to you know beat them to the spot. So. What was the emotion like in the locker room after the game? How did they? How did they- I mean, obviously they're disappointed, but we you know we got game four here, and um, you know we're not gonna get. Uh, you know, not going to let this game affect that one for sure. So we'll be fine. So. Your team got too complacent. I mean, like there's just so much standing around between offense and watching the glass and everything. It just seemed like the activity was gone. Yeah, maybe they were, maybe they, um, maybe that, maybe got a little tired. I don't know. Went for some long rotations out there. Um, but, uh, you know, whenever we, we got into ISO game, uh, we, we got static. So. Do you use the parts that were good and say like, Look how good it can be because it seemed like the yeah, defensive sure. strategy worked and yeah for sure absolutely we 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 created uh, you know two big leads we just got them we got to hold them you know, we got to hold them ongoing theme obviously but when cat gets in foul trouble that obviously really puts you guys behind the eight ball during the game and it happens relatively frequently bigger the game sometimes is there any way to kind of you know instruct him more on like offensive fouls or that kind of stuff. Yeah. I mean, we're, you know, we're talking to him, um, you know, it's, uh, it's the offensive fouls that really hurt us more than anything else. You know, so the ones we got, those are the ones we got to clean up. So. Chris, they, they don't play Adams at all in this game. Yeah. Start Kyle Anderson, switch it to Brandon Clark. How, as they kind of flowed through their, their bigs, how did, how did that times that help you and how at times did it slow you down? Well, I mean, Clark has a big game. He's active. He's athletic. He, you know, has got a lot of size. We, we kind of run out of some size out there at times. Um, uh, and, um, you know, they, I thought, you know, for the most part, you know, we did a good job on, you know, Jackson court and, you know, just but they, 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 they just beat us on, you know, he's beaten us as a, you know, rust rolling and as hustle plays on the, in and around the, the rim, you know, the little dump off stuff like that, but that didn't happen much until, you know, they were able to penetrate and then that's where, where uh, he was able to hurt us. So, and then Ant, some sort of injury kind of, he, he went to the side and then it seemed like he was maybe a, a little bit more, more tepid. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't checked in with him on it, you know. Chris, in the, in the fourth quarter, mm-hmm. it looked like guys maybe were looking at each other to m- make a play at times. What do you want to see from some of the guys to try to maybe 
take it upon himself to try to take over a game in a situation like that and be a little more decisive? Um, yeah, I, I don't, you know, I thought obviously I'd like him to stick, you know, stick with what was working, which was pace and moving it and driving them early. Um, you know, we, we have a habit of slowing the game down in those moments. And, uh, I thought we did a good job of driving, uh, some gaps when they were sending us certain directions and creating some early looks. We just got to do it earlier in the clock. So we're not on, the, not on the clock, you know, 